Hey everyone, it's me Erica again, and today I have a review on The Host by Stephanie Myers. I finished this book yesterday, and even though it took me forever to read, I really enjoyed it. This is a science fiction book, and we follow a soul named Wanderer. Now, Wanderer has been to many other planets besides Earth, and this is her first time being put into a human being placed on Earth itself. So she's placed into a human named Melanie. Now normally when a soul is embedded into a human, the human's mind, the human's person disappears and so it's just the soul, you know, manipulating the body and becoming its own person. When Wander embeds herself in Melanie, Melanie doesn't disappear and Melanie talks to Wander and Wander doesn't really know how to react to this. Melanie keeps showing her these memories of her before she was captured, before Wander invaded her mind. And a constant image that Melanie shows Wander is this guy that Melanie used to love named Jared. Eventually, over the course of these images being ran through Wander's head, she begins to fall for Jared herself. Melanie believes she knows where Jared is. She convinces Wanderer to go on a quest with her to find Jared and maybe possibly other humans that are hiding out to avoid being taken over by souls. So that's where the book kind of kicks off with this quest to find Jared, the one that they both love. The book is very complicated. It gets very emotional and that's pretty much what this book is based on it's like pure emotions when i started this book i really thought that it was going to be action and romance i knew romance was definitely going to be in there because of the synopsis and the plot but i didn't know that there wasn't going to be really any action and so because i started off with the mindset that there was going to be action in it I was really kind of let down and I didn't know what to think of the book because I was constantly looking for action. It wasn't like my expectations were high or low for this book it was just different. Here's action over here and then we have our little motions over here so I was just on the wrong side of the spectrum with this book. So when I got about halfway, I decided to put this book down because I wasn't really feeling it. I was just like, okay, I don't really feel it moving here. There's no action. So it kind of sent me into a reading slump. But watching the trailer over and over again, I grew interested in the book again. And I decided to pick up where I left off, which was pretty much exactly halfway. So I started this book off again with the expectation of, okay... The action element's not there, but the romances and the emotions definitely are. So I decided to just read it for what it was with understanding that the basis of this book was emotion. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I really enjoyed the second half of the book ten times more than I enjoyed the first. I really fell in love with the characters, I really connected with them, and it was just an awesome experience. Stephanie Meyer did a wonderful job with developing these unique characters and letting us see almost every single one of their sides and views to what was going on around them. Wanderer herself, or later to be known as Wanda, definitely is everything good. She is nice, she is selfless, she just thinks of others before she thinks of herself. But overall, I really enjoyed her and she was a wonderful main character. When it came to the two main guy characters, Ian and Jared, I tend to side with Ian. I liked him better as a person and just how he handled situations and how he was also everything good. When it comes to Jared, I try to put myself in his point of view, in his perspective of what's going on, but I just feel like the way he handled some of the situations in this book weren't that great, and that kind of made me not like him as much as Ian. Don't get me wrong, I really did like Jared. He was really sweet at times and lovable. I could tell why Melanie fell for him in the first place, but I just prefer Ian over Jared. And some of the things that Ian says, I'm just like, yeah, Ian, 
you're the one for me. I really enjoyed a lot of the other prominent characters in the book. I felt like I knew exactly what they were going to say when certain situations came up, and I just knew them like the back of my hand by the end of this book. This book was so emotional. It was such a roller coaster of just pure emotions that, you know, you just felt like you were there with all of them going through the same situations. Without these amazing characters in the book, this book definitely would not have been as great as it was. The characters definitely made the book amazing. I can't wait to see the movie, and I wish I knew how emotional-based this book was when I started it out, because I would have enjoyed it ten times more. I definitely plan to reread this, especially the first half, because through that first half, I was just searching for the action. I wasn't enjoying the emotional connections and the development of the characters in the beginning. The second half literally took me less than a week. I started this book up again back Sunday, and now here it is Saturday. And so I finished like 400 pages in less than a week. That's how amazing this book was, and I know rereading it would just be even better since my expectations will be on the right track and just I will just be able to enjoy it so much more. I know that. If you didn't really like Twilight by Stephanie Myers, I would definitely suggest picking up the host. It's totally different. The characters are totally different. The whole world is totally different. It's sci-fi, not paranormal romance and it's just amazing. It's not a love triangle, it's a love square. Very different, very different, and much more complicated. I really wanted to know how they were going to work this romantic square out. I just really wanted to see what Wanda was going to do, how everyone was going to react to her decision. So as long as you go into this knowing how emotionally based in it, it is, you will thoroughly enjoy it. I know I definitely did. So I gave it a four out of five stars. The beginning half is what kind of brings me down a star. I know for a fact if I reread it, the rating that I give this book will definitely go up. Can't wait to see the movie. I probably will see it tomorrow. So I hope you guys check it, check it out if you haven't already. I really do. Give her a chance. She really deserves it, especially for this book. It's a good standalone, but it could also be a great series starter. So... Highly recommend it. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this review and tell me your thoughts if you've read the book or if you're going to read it in the comments below. Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!